Hey you guys, what's up? It's been a hot minute since I've made a vlog. <laughs> um, I am not really sure where to start or what to say, what to include in this vlog. Um, a lot has been happening. Obviously in my last video that I posted, I said that I was going to um, vlog Christmas even maybe New Year's, and then I was gonna kind of see what to do about vlogging the birth of our baby and everything. Anyway, so obviously none of that happened. Um, I'm gonna turn on the cold air here for just a minute because it's hot in here. Yeah, so like I said, none of that happened. Uh, I just did not have the energy, nor did I really care to vlog Christmas and all of that. Plus, I just kind of felt like maybe our family, my family, maybe didn't want to be on the vlog. Um, I've never really asked them. I usually just video. I know my sisters are probably pretty chill. Um, but obviously, since being pregnant and like having my own kid, I feel differently about recording little kids on video and putting it on YouTube, even though hundreds of thousands of people do it every day. I just don't know that I want to do it. So I'm definitely going to be talking to Brady about whether or not he would like our little girl to be on these videos or if he'd rather have me leave her out. I don't know. But as far as other people go, I definitely just want to be respectful and not just assume. Um, that it's okay with them. So that's partly why I didn't record Christmas. Um, also, I was just seriously near the end of my pregnancy. I was 35, 36 weeks and just super exhausted. Also, we had, you know, our last trip down to see family and honestly, things just kind of took a turn for a little bit of the worst when January came. So I switched to a completely new doctor the first week of January because of our insurances and where we live. Just long story short. <laughs> um, I went to see this doctor and my blood pressure was extremely high. And I have never had a history of high blood pressure um, when I go to the doctors or just ever if I ever have a check like that's just never been an issue so we kind of were just like okay well it's just really high you know maybe you're just feeling nervous or maybe you know it's because you're pregnant you know pregnant women tend to have higher blood pressure towards the end you know we're just trying to brush it off trying to just I guess figure out why so um, I give them a urine sample and the protein levels were a little bit high. I start seeing this doctor every week now because I'm 36 weeks pregnant. The following week I go in to see him, my blood pressure is still extremely high and there is still a lot of protein in my urine. So he sends that in for a lab test for something else, I guess didn't really explain just that this test needed to be done so I'm like okay he said that you know let me know if you're feeling any of these other symptoms and kind of listed out a couple of other things and when I got to do some research I realized that he was looking at preeclampsia um, which is pretty scary because it's not like just something that I don't know, you shouldn't be concerned about, I guess. And the symptoms, like they just kind of come, like all of a sudden you just have it. There's not really like a buildup to it, which is why it can be really dangerous. Um, and also the high blood pressure and the preeclampsia and everything like that, it also affects the baby, which is not good. So, um, oh, sorry. He then had me do a 24 hour urine test that weekend um, and had me check my blood pressure, um, 
when I brought the 24 hour urine test back to the lab, he wanted me to check my blood pressure that day as well. So I did, and again, it was still really high. He was not pretty, you know, happy about that. So he said, okay, if this lab comes back with extremely high levels of protein in your urine, then we're gonna be looking at inducing you because you are showing symptoms of preeclampsia and the high blood pressure and everything, like we just gotta get this baby here. And I am not due for another two weeks. And I'm not really feeling like contractions or anything at this point. I mean, I do have some cramping on and off that doesn't last very long, maybe a couple times a day. Just feels like normal menstrual cramps. It's not anything like painful. The next day he calls me and he said, yep, you've got extremely high levels of protein in your urine. Looks like we need to get this baby here. Come in tomorrow at seven. And Brady and I just kind of looked at each other like, holy crap, <laughs> like, are we even ready for this? Like, this is crazy. We didn't know like whether to be excited or scared because we've got health concerns, but at the same time, like it's finally time to have this baby get her here. Um, it was just a lot of mixed emotions. So we spent the day practically packing, um, getting uh, you know the house cleaned and ready for the baby to come um, because we were expecting to be gone for at least a couple days we called our family members to let them know and I just really tried my hardest to rest um, because at this time I was also having a lot of swelling in my feet and my ankles um, I was doing the compression socks and those seemed to help um, sleeping laying down really helped the swelling so anyways it all just like happened within two weeks of starting to see this new doctor and like January 1st like within two weeks it was like we gotta get this baby here so um, anyways the next day we go in at 7 they started me on Pitocin and I labored for 20 hours and pushed for two and she was here she was born early in the morning um, she had a really hard time breathing at first. We didn't hear her cry, which was, you know, of course it was worrisome. And that's what you hope to hear, you know, as a, as a new mom, you hope to hear that cry because that's just a good sign. Um, but uh, it took a little bit to get her lungs going and um, we finally heard her make some noises and some small cries and the team that worked with her was just amazing. Um, but then I, of course, had to join the party and I hemorrhaged and that was really scary. Um, but they were able to get that under control and um, made it, you know, less serious than it probably could have been. Um, Anyways, and throughout the next day, um, our little girl was just really struggling to breathe, really working overtime, her body. Um, we just didn't like the sound that she was making as she was breathing and um, she was retracting and her nostrils were flaring and I guess that's, you know, a sign of respiratory distress syndrome and we just all became like super, super worried for her and her health and her safety. Um, so uh, we took an x-ray. We didn't see anything in her lungs, like no fluid buildup, nothing like that. Um, and eventually the doctor made the call to send her to the NICU uh, because her oxygen and her breathing and everything, it just wasn't good, it wasn't looking good. Um, so yeah, we were woken up in the middle of the night and they were going to life flight her, but then a snowstorm hit. So they ended up, uh, bringing an ambulance out to us. Uh, the nearest hospital with the NICU was an hour and a half away. So, um, I rode in the front of the ambulance back to the hospital with her in the back and my husband and his mom followed in the car behind us. And then we spent the next three and a half days um, up at the hospital with her in the NICU. 
I'm trying to keep this like super short because I've already been talking for like 10 minutes and I want to add more to this. So um, anyways, everything ended up turning out fine. She came home and we love her. She's doing amazing. She's eating great. She's growing. I've healed. Um, I'm doing good. I'm not showing any signs of high blood pressure anymore. Um, yeah, it turned out okay in the end, but she's here and we love her and, um, hopefully I can show you guys a picture, but again, I'm going to talk with my husband and just kind of get his feel for what he thinks about her being in these videos and on the internet. And if not, then you'll just have to trust me that she's cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is kind of where I've been and the last two months have just been insanely crazy that I will give you an update on. Um, but I wanted to kind of update you as far as from where we left off in the last video.